Hello, marketing strategist. I hope you're doing great today. What I want to talk about this afternoon is a SWOT and 3C assignment that you are going to conduct on the firm that you've selected that you'll be working with throughout the semester. So let's get started at better understanding this assignment. So first of all, there are a few frameworks that you can use to analyze an organization to see how they are working towards deciding how internal and external factors will impact their business. We can do this through a matrix that we call a SWOT analysis. And basically what SWOT stands for are strengths, the things that you're really good at. We often look at strengths as future opportunities where we can uh, look at external factors that will help um, our be in our favor or we may look at weaknesses that are threats or things that are coming into play that really are difficult for us to overcome. So a SWOT analysis is looking at both internal and external factors such as what's going on in the legal and compliance world. Are there things such as the pandemic that we can take advantage of or that we find are really difficult that might be a threat or a weakness? We could look at our customer, the changing dynamics of customers, and maybe the health and welfare of ourselves or our employees. Perhaps a natural disaster comes into play. Or what happens when competitors are out there and they're starting to get on our turf? So we do what's called a SWOT analysis. First we look at external factors and then we look at internal factors. Are there things going on with maybe we have a new uh, CEO or president of our company? What happens if there's a change in leadership? Or maybe some of our core competencies have changed. If somebody who had a lot of intellectual capital left and now we have those skills to fulfill, how do we look at this? So we look at these things in terms of strengths. What are we really great at? Weaknesses the things where we can improve on, opportunities, those things that are out there that we should really leverage and take advantage of, and then threats, those things that come into play that we have to be able to look out for. So we use a SWOT analysis. We take a look at our company with all of these internal and external factors, and they help prepare us for those decisions that we have to make. So for this assignment, you are going to take your firm and you are going to go through the process of looking at strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats within a particular context for your firm. So how might we look like this in reality? So we've got a matrix, and the matrix then has strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. You go through each one of those individually. Let's take, for example, uh, DSU. One thing we can do, if, if, if you are a decision maker for DSU and you're trying to solve a business problem, you might want to look at the strengths of the organization. That could be, we are an affordable institution in terms of tuition. Maybe our strengths could be something like we have super faculty or a really strong student body. We have Dixie spirit, all of those wonderful things around our company. Then we could look at weaknesses. Well, what are those external factors or internal factors that may cause us to think about the decisions we're making? For example, what if we have, and, and this is a very real weakness, is do we have increased competitors? Do we have people who are offering online or, or non-traditional classes that we de generally don't have very many of at DSU? A weakness could also be perhaps we don't have enough faculty to teach the courses of the demand. Then we can kind of look at, well, what might the opposite of a weakness be or what might be some internal or external opportunities? Maybe we have an opportunity to grow our market share through increased courses. Maybe having courses on the weekends, non-traditional, typical college curriculum. We can think of opportunities and maybe we, we, we have new majors or programs. There's lots of different things that we can think of that will help guide our decision making. And finally, threats. 
So a threat could be, well, what happened in the pandemic? Are there anything that we, is there anything we need to think about related to COVID-19 or maybe threats as you might have, um, you might have faculty leave and then you have a hole, you don't have uh, people to be able to teach courses. So I want you to take this sort of analysis and do that for the firm that you're working with to get a good holistic picture of the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats that will help you better make decisions for them. The second part of the assignment is what we call a 3C analysis. And 3C analysis looks at three very important factors in marketing. Our company, who we are, what are our competencies? What are our aspirations? Who do we want to be when we grow up? And what resources do we have to make that happen? Could it be our people? Could it be funding? Uh, so, so we look at the company as a whole. And then we look at our customers. What do we know about our customers? Who are they? What segments do we have? Are these, are these various segments, are they, are they loyal to us? Do they think they'll bail for the next best product? So we, think, we look at who we have today in terms of our customers. And then finally, oh, that dreaded C, the competitors are always coming after us. What is our competitors offering and how do we line up to that? Are we priced appropriately? Do we have um, competitive value? That, that our competitors may not have. So what can we offer that our competitor cannot? So what we do in a 3C analysis is we look at all of these factors, the three Cs, and then we write a description about who we are. So let's again take the DSU example. Let's look at our company. So if you were looking at DSU as a university, you might make a statement such as DSU is known for affordable tuition, talented professors, and aspires to be a distinctive open polytechnic university. So that encapsulates in a nutshell in one statement what we believe and aspire to be and the resources we have as a company. Secondly, our customers. Who are our customers? You are, of course. DSU serves people in Utah in the Southwest region of the United States seeking a four-year competitive education. We have great degrees. We have wonderful programs. And our customers are also looking for a great education. And many of them are first-generation college students. So we take a look at who our customers are today. And then finally, who are our competitors? What do we need to look at? We might make a statement such as, DSU provides hands-on active learning in an environment that provides opportunity for an active lifestyle. So you take active learning, active life, and put it together. So this is how you can go about making a SWOT analysis and a 3C analysis. Now here's what I want you to do for the assignment. So you of course are working with your team on this firm. You are going to complete that activity that I just showed you. The SWOT and the 3 C's. And we'll have times to do this within the class period. Once you've done that great analysis, I want you to synthesize it into a one page short PowerPoint, a video, an email, a professional executive brief, however you want to do it, but I want you to succinctly describe to the decision maker what you know about their company, what you found out, what you value, where they can improve. And so this is going to be taking that information and synthesizing it into a document that is useful to a decision maker. And why do I have you do this? The one thing that I hear most often from businesses is people entering um, the workplace are great at analysis. They're super at understanding theory, but sometimes they have a difficult time translating what they know into a succinct document or conversation with a decision maker. So this is why I have you do this piece. The third thing you're going to do is you're going to provide feedback on your peers in uh, an evaluation form. So, so to, to go through this one more time, step one, you're going to complete the SWOT analysis using the document I've provided. 
you're going to complete the three C's and you are going to then take the information that you've gleaned, you've learned about your firm, and you're going to, in the second page, create a professional document. It could be a PowerPoint deck, it could be a one-page executive summary, or a well-written email with some attachments, if you prefer, um, to your decision maker. So the format is up to you, but one thing you're going to have to do when you upload these documents, upload your executive summary and also that, that worksheet you've been working on to consolidate your data. Finally, you're going to do that peer review. Let me know of the, your team members who contributed and what percentage. So overall, you can find the instructions to this assignment, including this video. There's written instructions. The forms you'll need are in there to create the analysis. And then you can find these in Canvas. Once you're finished, make sure you upload both your executive summary and the worksheets that you've completed. Finally, again, rate your peers. How did they contribute? Uh, was it equitable? Let me know how you're feeling about the group work because this is important in terms of your success and your grade. So finally, once you've done all this, we're going to get back together the next time we're together after you submit this and you're going to tell each of us about your firm and what you've learned about them and what their strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats are in their three C's. So have fun with this. You will have time to work on this during the class period, and I look forward to seeing your results. So take care, and I'll see you soon.